lips move whenever I talk. My name is Jim Vias. I'm otherwise known as Magic Jim from Educational Productions. I'm an East Brunswick resident and we are in the East Brunswick Library and we just finished doing a summer reading show that's called On Your Mark, Get Set, Read. And it uses books that can be featured from the library and encourages young people to go to the library to explore their interests and to fulfill their potential. All my assemblies, whether they're summer reading shows or school assemblies, use magic to motivate kids and to get a message across. Hi, what is your name? Dylan. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Now, Charlie is going to help me with this book race that we're going to... Your, your name's not Charlie? No. What is your name? Dylan. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Stephen is going to help me with this book race that we're... Your name's not Steven? No. What is it? Dylan! I'm sorry! Joanne is gonna help me with that. Is his name Joanne? No! Well, what is it? Dylan! Your name Philip? Why didn't you say so in the first place? This summer we talked about books and games and sports and races. And in doing all that, we also use books that can be found from the library. So in addition, it encourages the kids to go to the library uh, to take books out. But it also talks to uh, different ways about exploring their interests and, and uh, fulfilling their potential. I started as a little, little kid. And a magician called me up on stage to help him do a magic trick at a carnival. It's a true story. And uh, I was fascinated with magic from then on. And all throughout high school, uh, I never got a quote unquote real job working at a supermarket or McDonald's. I would do magic tricks for kids' parties. And uh, when I went away to college and to grad school, I put myself through grad school doing magic. Uh, then I got a real career. And about 15, 20 years ago, I left the career as an attorney and went back to doing magic and other things. So magic has been a, a stable through my life uh, since I was around five years old. I love kids. I love kids. I love their unpredictability. I love their guilelessness. I, you never quite know what's going to happen in a kid's show. Uh, even today, a kid did something that uh, I'd never seen them do before. I always get kids up to help me. And a, a kid today did something while she was helping me that I just broke character and started laughing. It was so funny and unique. So I thought that was delightful. Uh, and that's what I love. This is the tortoise. So hold this right like that so everybody can see it. Good. And uh, what's your name again? Nicole. All right, don't forget, you are going to be the hair. And Nicole, you are going to be the hair like no, you're this. Going to not. <clears throat> hold it right like that, Nicole. <laughs> now, <clears throat> One day, the tortoise and the hare were having an argument. And the hare said, you are slow. God say that. And the tortoise said, oh yeah? Oh yeah. You're slower than a bathtub full of jello. I didn't know how to say what was going Can you say that? Can you say you're slower than a bathtub full of jello? Okay, and you say, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Let's have a race. Let's have a race. Me race you? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Me race you? Ha ha. Good. And the tortoise said, well, what about the time my father beat your grandfather in a race because your grandfather took a nap, my grandfather went and didn't quit and kept running? <laughs> okay. So, they decided to have <laughs> So they decided to have a race. <clears throat> and they decided they'd start at the finish line, they'd start at the starting line, they'd run up North Street, down South Street, left on West Street, right on East Street, and whoever got to the finish line first would jump into this the bulk of my clientele are schools where I do school assemblies about anti-bullying. That's my main show. Uh, it's a show called Bully Proof Your School, The Magic of Character, which has been seen by over half a million kids um, all throughout, all the way as far north as New Hampshire and as far south as Delaware. So you know what the rabbit decided to do? He decided to hold this up, take a nap. <laughs> And the tortoise kept running slowly. 
And because he didn't quit, because he didn't give up, the tortoise finally, hold this up so everybody can see, won the race. Let's give the tortoise a hand. If someone wants to get in touch with me to come to their school about an anti-bully show or a cultural diversity show or a literacy show, they can contact www.magicgym.com or 732-238-8139. East Brunswick Library, it's always a, it's a joy to come to my hometown library. I'm an East Brunswick resident, and when I first moved here almost, almost 30 years ago, I was just blown away by the resources that the library has. The staff is so helpful, so supportive, so cooperative, and they really want the population of this town to, to utilize the resources here, which are extraordinary and massive. So it's always an honor to be invited back here.